Welcome back to Maypole Farm. It's April 3rd. Third week of April. Or the, the third whatever. Or the third lot of 10 days in April. <laughs> it really struggles sometimes with that. Um, so I was going to skip ahead to May. So we could do some indirect grazing. And get some feeding. Get some silage made. Um, but... There is a single seeding contract, um, which I am going to get done before we do that. That will give me a bit of cash to keep the workers paid and just need to do a bit of feeding as well. We're going to get that done. I am going to risk running out slash not giving any power food to the cows for this last day of the month. Um, that will be covered by the indirect grazing when we start doing that. That covers three of the four feed groups, unless we condition the grass and then it will do all four, which I may do because it will save us from using up hay. Let's not do that. I know why and because it's a fresh install of the game this tractor opens its door on the n key really helpful when you have a front loader attached i need to change that add it on control n or open close cover can find it i will put that back that's better yeah it's first, first time playing back on maypole on the new laptop and because it's a fresh install of farm sim it had not remembered my very few key customization oh uh, yeah well got that sorted now and let's remember this time to take this bucket over to the other cow pen. I hadn't intended to put two bucket falls in the uh, in the first one. Um, so yeah, I'll probably show a little bit of doing the seeding contract. Weirdly, it is seeding grass. A field that has grass in it, I think, or lots of weeds. Um, so I'm not sure if it's actually going to work. I hope it does because I had a bag of seed delivered over there as well. So yeah, you can see one pen has already both almost run out of power food. So they will at some point during the day. But if we can save buying some, then we may as well. It's one day. It should be fine. Might take a little bit of a hut, a hut, a hit on productivity. It wouldn't be me if I didn't crash into a door. Yes, while we're doing this and while I remember I'm going to say thank you to the patrons and the YouTube channel members appreciate you guys supporting the channel uh, if you're interested in either of those there are links below so uh, YouTube channel members get to be in the game as workers or land owners uh, and you get in access to an exclusive channel on discord patrons get that plus uh, if you go for the five pound a month or more tier you get to see an exclusive Let's Play series on Frurling. Uh, patrons also get input into creative stuff sometimes. So I think that's probably enough food in both of those. Door is still open. So let's get over to our contract and see how it goes. So here we are in the John Deere 4440. I could not work on this, but I thought it would be kind of fun to run it. I've uh, not run many jobs in this tractor, and yeah, we need to plant the grass field with grass. So this could be interesting. Direct drill, so it might work guess we'll do a little bit and see I say hopefully 
we're not going to have wasted our money on the bag of seed um and as you can see as i said you know, with youtube channel members uh hilly is actually a patron but you get to be part of the game and we are in fact progressing which is cool so get this done and ourselves enough to pay the wages for the last day of april and uh, then we'll progress to may lease we're going to use lease to own um to get ourselves a new tractor uh, a mower and possibly a windrower and a loading wagon haven't been able to find a front mower which is cheap so we might just have a back mower for now um, or i might lease a front mower for the day we'll see because yeah, the plan is going to be to not just get this is the farm that we were thinking of buying <laughs> um the plan is not just to get the um indirect grazing going but also to get silage made so yeah it might be worth at least one fire as well to speed up quickly we can cut the grass uh, we're gonna need to lease a baler as well and a wrapper gonna be expensive and we might need actually to pick up the contract in early may before we do that might be worth doing to raise a bit more cash and with the indirect grazing going we're not super urgent to get ourselves silage made so i'm gonna run this contract and i will see you in may So we're just finishing up this said this is the first time i've ever seen a contract which has asked us to replant a grass field it's kind of cool i'm not sure where it's come from but i like it um i'm actually going to do a relatively thorough job and do the last little bit as well um we have actually finished the contract but let's do it properly only because it's for one of the uh, channel patrons is you know but it's a good job for these guys to uh, keep them coming back I have to say that is a really nice tractor if it wasn't so expensive I would think about getting one for us but yeah Getting a little bit of reimbursement, it's about right, £400 for about half a bag of seeds and then a bit of leasing cost. So let's collect on that and I will now see you in May. Okay, we have skipped ahead to May and uh, giving the cows a bale of hay in each side silo shed um, because we're going to be putting in the rest with the indirect grazing bedding is okay the slurry is quite high but we're going to be cutting grass soon so that's okay sold milk again we're selling milk every day and just looking at last month we made seven nearly eight thousand pounds for milk sales so that's pretty good it's almost getting to the point where it's covering the wages it's still creeping up as our older holsteins approach 28 months when it will peak um and then the younger ones are still a little way off producing milk yet um they'll get there so i'm not too worried about that um i am going to use store deliveries for all of this um and let's start with our extra tractor shall we um i was really tempted as i said by one of these um, but I think it's just too much money or not enough horsepower. 
Maybe in the future we'll get one to help out around the farm. The other tractor that I have added, I'm guessing it's under large tractors, um, which I'm going to be adding in to the contracting setup is the uh, Cerevec K70. This is a 60s tractor, I think. Um, and, you know, we can get 290 horsepower. So going to put this in some of our larger contracting setups. And, you know, it's a nice big old Russian tractor. I do like these old um, Eastern European. I think it's Russian. I'm not sure. I do like these big old Eastern European tractors. So, yep. Yeah. It's definitely a contender for the future. But for now, we are a Fent Favre at 500. Hmm. Expensive. So I've I found a website and I posted it on Discord and I'm going to be using it for some mods that lists the new price of old tractors. In fact, I'm going to go and check it for this one. Be right back. But the website is tractorinfo.net. I think it was. It didn't have the fit on there, so we're going to have to go with it as it is in the mod. Um, there are some bigger tractors that I've been looking at um, where the mod price is very different to the original new price so i'm going to be using that website to get those um but we are going to lease ourselves well lease to own ourselves a fiat 1300 dt um this is going to be a field field work that kind of thing um so we're going to get some chunky ish tires on there we are going to get a three point on the front for when we eventually get a front three point mower um, and we're going to go for the intercooled turbo which is 185 horsepower um, we're going to lease that we're going to do lease to own so it's going to be costing us a couple hundred pounds a day um it's not too bad and eventually we'll probably buy it or we may just return it so there is our new tractor kind of slow but for field work it'll be just fine um and then for the mowers um say so i really like these uh potting out nova discs i think they look kind of age appropriate we can get a three and a half meter one for not too much cash um which i also like and we're going to lease that as well so we are on a big lease to own streak here and we can hook that up on the back of the Fiat. Oh, it sounds nice. Okay, so, and then I was really interested in um, one of the uh, one of the, the potting of front mowers, but they're so expensive. Well, I say that it's going to cost us £150 a day if we lease it. Let's lease it. So this is going to be our full-on mowing setup. While wow, the brakes on this are a little bit special. Um, for the indirect grazing, what we're going to do is we're going to drop the back mower off. And we'll put it back on in a, while, in a little while because we're going to be getting into some silage work. Really doesn't want to stop. It really doesn't. This is going to be good with my amazing driving skills. So let's drop that off. And this will save us a bit of time wind rowing. And then forage wagons. We have the Agromet Opalencia. Um, patrons will recognize this because I have used it on there. On frailing for some silage work. Again, we're going to lease it fairly cheap um, and we're going to keep all of this stuff on long-term lease using a lease to own with the intent that we will be buying it so i think this holds seven thousand liters we're going to need to do a couple of loads in each pen i think Let's unfold the mower and we're going to start going round the headlands Basically, oh, the corn's looking good. 
That does look good. I think, yeah, we're good for nitrogen. We're okay for nitrogen. That's going to be good enough. Didn't roll it. Oh, well, I'm really bad at remembering to roll stuff. And nice, ready to harvest grass field. So nice having the uh, view distances and things turned back up. So let's drop the mower. And some lights on. Unfold this. Turn that on. And off we go. And I'm getting all of the achievements again because this is a new install of FS22 on my laptop. And uh, yeah, it's giving me all of the achievements again. So that'll be fun at for a little while. As we go through and get everything that I already had several times. Yeah, I figure we'll take off the headland first for the indirect grazing. And then when we get into the body of the field, we'll use that for our um, real feeding. Sorry, Hedge. Didn't see that, okay. Didn't see that. And let's drop right down. And this is what I should have done. But yeah, I think this holds about 7,000 litres. And this is going to become a pretty much daily activity for the summer. Hopefully we have enough. And this is just going to get us, yeah. Through the spring, summer, we'll indirect graze. And then, oh, there we go. back and get that missed bit once we get back into winter we'll be uh, feeding silage and stuff again so yeah we've not even taken off a headland off yet and we're, uh, we're good so a couple of headlands will have got enough to feed the cows for today or we have to set aside a part of the field for this and we'll ooh. crack out plus several now um, yeah we'll set aside part of the field for doing the indirect grazing and uh, see how we get on with that totally new for me as a way of running a, uh, a herd so if we look now in the feeding you'll see they have nine and a half thousand litres of hay and not very much of everything else and then as we put wrong pen as we put food in it's uh, added to all of the other components so i'm going to get a few of these done and i'll be back in a bit just finishing up the last load on here I've done one two in one of the pens one in one pen i'm all ready for But we'll have to come back and collect that at some point. Um, so yeah, I think the next job is to actually get some signage bales made. Interesting that it will let me fold that whilst it's full. Um, so yeah, we'll stick the, the rear mower on and probably run a couple more headlands around the whole field and then pick an area that we're going to keep for indirect grazing for now not even use two headlands to do a day so and we've still got other food that we can feed as well so pretty cool don't do an fsg make sure you select the thing you're trying to empty into the feed trough and they are good they're okay for straw as well sorry is Slightly high, but we're going to be spreading some of that, so I think we're good. We'll put the feeding wagon in the shed because it's worth protecting from the weather, not that there is any on the way. So many of my farms are cluttered and disorganized. Let's try and keep this one nice, shall we? Go. 
I will pick up the back mower. Now we're going to need a windrower and a round baler and wrapper still. Which kind of sucks because that's all going to cost us a bunch of cash. But once we've got all of that, we will be able to do our own grass working contracts without needing to lease kit, or we can take ours over as well to help out with the lease kit. But that's kind of cool. Should speed things up quite a lot. Having both mowers should also speed things up quite a lot. Um, I'm going to go through the hedge. When I get to the the next side, I'm going to be very cautious with how big a chunk we take off, because obviously we left um, some grass waiting to be windrowed and condition these, because that makes the uh, the silage bales a little bit lighter, a uh, little bit more volume in them. You can attend them to semi-dry as well. Um, I need to add in, because I've forgotten to do it on here. So I've updated Maze Plus on here. But I haven't added the round around wrapped round around bales from Ola. Now that has been updated to support Maze Plus and all of the Maze Plus bale types. So hopefully we'll be getting a lot less questions about that mod in the support discord. Um, obviously it's a recall mod, so people wanted to use it, but the initial release did not support Maze Plus, so Ola's updated it, and thanks to Giants being cool on this one, so normally when you update a mod you have to wait two weeks, um, but between Ola, the Alien Pool, and Mr. Marcel at Giants, because it was more of a hotfix to support Maze Plus, they've released it early, which is awesome. Uh, not sure which of the different combination of people got it unlocked, but yeah. It's a kind of a giant's doing a good thing for the community and not making them wait for that update. And definitely helps us out with not having all of the support questions of I'm trying to make bales and I only get silage, you can't wrap this. Which was getting pretty common. Um they did an update video on the update um, which actually came out part way through me recording this because it's taken me a couple of days and yeah so go watch that if you're interested in what's in the update the the changes to the feeding that we've put in this time they don't affect how you use it they affect mixtures and recipes um, and i'll do a video on it as soon as i can this is a nice setup. The, uh, the rear mark is a reasonably tight swath as well, which is quite nice. I think we'll do one more headland. That's going to give us plenty of room to turn around. And then I'll mow maybe half the field and see how we do with that going through the rest of May and then the last day of May I'll make a call whether we're going to make any more silage bales or whether we need it for feeding um, obviously it's a bit annoying that it's I should have probably started the indirect grazing in April because it's slightly annoying that we're going to waste a growth state potentially But it is what it is. Uh, not that big a problem. Part of learning how to run a farm with Maze Plus, which well I've done you know, testing with Maze Plus, it's not the same. It's not the same at all. You take a lot of shortcuts when you're testing, you speed a lot of things up. Um, I would F12 in food when I needed to, so yeah, very different. This does look so nice. Relight in the summer, spring, looks really good. Definitely a cool mod. Um, 
I have not manually added it to anything myself yet. I've only got it here on Maypole where Cavalier has sent me the uh, the early an early copy of the version that's in testing. So yeah. Pretty nice. Looks really good. And I think we're probably still okay for fertilizer on here. Not set it to refresh the yield map, which is a bit silly. Yeah, this is fine. Run up here and then we'll get into some up down rows this all mode and then wind road and bailed um, probably the wind rowing and bailing I'll use one of our workers to help with because they're sitting about doing nothing at the moment I don't think there are any contracts we can throw them at because they're all bailing contracts and that obviously takes effort from me as well it's not just to set it and forget it like a fertilizing contract probably will get into doing some of those in the coming videos um i'm really interested in if people if i'm going to be doing grass working contracts do people want to see that in videos i, I ask this a lot and i forget the answer um, yeah i'm gonna to need to do some we've got really nothing else to do in may but contracting and at the moment I think the only contracts that are available are grass working contracts so that's what we're going to be doing do you want to see them and that was my dogs they said hello or they were just being annoying I don't even know if it's picked up, but anyway, I'm going to get this mode and I'll be back. So I'm going to stop at this point in the mowing and leave the patch that we have left for the indirect grazing. And I switch that off, fold that up, that off, lift that up. I'm not going to bother folding it because it needs to be unfolded to drop. And then we're going to lease the windrower and the round baler. Not using a square baler because square square bale wrappers. Maybe I should have folded that. Square bale wrappers didn't exist at the point that we are farming, I believe. So, yep, round bale wrapping it is. Actually, before I wrap them, I'm going to install the rounder wrapped round round bales. Um, so I think we'll use the Ursus to windrow and the Fiat to bale. And we'll destroy our brand new least mower while we're at it. Let's get ourselves back to our normal delivery point. And we'll make sure we've got that set. Okay, so. Windrow. I want to go for... We've got two options. We've got a really cheap one. Or a less cheap one. Um... I want to go for this one. Um, I used the other really cheap one on um, Brilling. So this is only £200 a day. It's that. And then Baylor's. This is what we used before. So that's what we'll use again. I just want to check. The base game will do 150 centimeter bail. Okay. That's what we'll make. Probably we'll end up keeping the round baler as well, and possibly the wrapper. I think it's, at this point we can probably afford to keep all this kit. 
set that to 150. Let's jump in the little Z tour. I think I said Ursus. Really get those confused quite a lot. Might leave wrapping until the next video. Because I'm not sure how long this one has got. Um, I used course plate to do it. Just do some of it last time, but it sort of struggled, so I might actually just do that off camera. Oh. I know this is quite a modern windrower, but the style is not, obviously, so that's what I'm going for. The older style rather than the old. It's just because there's only so many mods available. Um, there you go. Right into the field. Let's jump in the field and get one of our workers going on the map. Follow me. Uh, we might end up with some bales in the way doing it this way, but hopefully follow me is going to behave. All right, we're gonna lower up, we're gonna switch on and try a control F. And we're gonna get no response. And fold this and just make a start. So we can get lined up properly. Without GPS, I'm probably gonna make a bit of a mess of There we go. Yep, that's it. That's switched. I'm probably going to make a bit of a mess of making full use of the width of the windrower, but it is what it is. I've not added Simple Inspector into here yet, which is a bit annoying because I can't see what the bale is doing. Um, but it looks like it's picking it up, so it's good enough. Yep, so one of our workers at the moment is getting a day off. I think when we get into doing some contracts, I'll make more use of course play, and so we'll be making more use of the workers. Um, particularly as with manually loading all the bales, it's going to be a lot of work. Yeah, good. So I should be trying to get all of it, but I know there's another row that's going to kick in in a moment along here. There it is. Yeah. I have no idea how much we cut because I forgot to reset all of the precision farming counters, which is a bit annoying. I need to make sure I do that before I harvest the other fields that I own. Probably need to slow down a bit and let's just check what kind of speed. That's running at 10 miles an hour. Okay. Slow down a little bit should allow it to keep relatively close. Any bits that we miss, we can bring the uh, the loading wagon over and clear up. But yeah, let's get this job done.
I think this should be the last two rows. Um, been running at six to seven miles an hour in the Z Tour, so that the baler can keep up and follow me, doesn't get lost. Um, got a decent number of bales off of here, so yeah, I think leaving that chunk of the field for indirect grazing is going to work okay if we get to the point where um, it looks like we're going to have spare grass. I'm going to get it mowed and baled because uh, we don't want to waste it. And as I said, it's a little bit frustrating that at this point we're wasting a growth state. I should probably have mowed, as I said, in April. Um, but we are where we are, so can't really complain about that. Um, things will settle as we get used to it. Um, but this setup has worked really well. The fear has been awesome on the baler. The Z Tour has done a great job on the wind rower. I have done an average job on not missing bits, as you can see. I'm trying to be a little bit greedy sometimes, and yeah, I'm definitely going to save bale wrapping. I might do it off camera. It's going to take a while. But there's quite a few bales. And, uh, yeah, so I might I might get the bales wrapped and we'll we'll stack them in the next video because uh, you might want to see me attempt to do that. I guess we're going to get an extra row. Um, 26 bales so far, so probably going to end up with nearly 30 bales, I think. Uh, I think we're getting rear run by the looks of it. So, yeah, that's 150, 165,000 litres of silage that we're going to get, which is really nice. Very pleased with that. So, yeah, 30 bales is going to last us quite, you know, quite good for our winter stock of feed. Plus, we've got the maize silage up there. We are going to need to save up for a bunker for that. Um, or we bail it and wrap it. Now we've got the round baler and the wrapper. Um, but I'm doing that on Attingham with the multi baler. So maybe we'll maybe we'll do a pit on here. See if we can find there. There are the ones where you can just put it in a field, basically, which might be the way to go to get that done. I'll lift up and fold that in a bit so I can get around this bale. Around the round bale. And before I wrap them, I will install rounder, round, wrapped around bales. Um, that might be a bit of an in joke um, within the Maze Plus farming agency team. I'm not sure. But it's meant entirely in jest. Mm really cool having Ola as part of the team and Loki um, yeah some really cool stuff that's come into Maze Plus the green mowing I think I've mentioned it all um, and the getting it to work with pumps and hoses the long term objective on here is to get ourselves set up with some pumps and hoses kit um, for now we'll be getting a slurry tank back to uh, clear the slurry tank out and get some nitrogen on here because it's a bit lower than we would like for the next harvest. Um, and we need to keep managing the slurry tank to uh, keep the cows producing milk. I'm just going to speed up and get this last bit done. And the baler can catch up. It's on the short run. So might run around and tidy up the... Uh, there's lots of loose bits. Some of them quite big, so... Uh, jump in and I'm going to let that unload before I take over because round balers are not my strong point um, but I'm just going to clear up some of the corners because there's some quite big piles so we might get an extra bale off of here tractor is very very um i don't know if it's my control settings on laptop where i've switched computers but yeah it's very something very something nice setup though it looks really good particularly with the graphics cranked up 
Um, if you watch my Attingham video, you see I had a bit of fun trying to get the settings right, but I think we're there. Seeing as we own, well, we don't own, we're leasing the bailer, but we're leasing to own. Not a problem if we do end up leaving some in the bailer. We can uh, always finish the bail off next time. I think we'll be doing some hay baling contracts, if there are any, because that's how we're going to get the hay. Because um, we just don't own enough grassland at the moment to get everything we need. At some point I'll run around and pick up all those loose bits as well. We'll get them when we're wind rowing next time. I don't think there's going to be enough to get a full bale. So, uh, look, how many did we get? 30 bales, exactly. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, I am going to say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button. We do not smash like buttons. If you smash it, you have to buy me a coffee. Um, comments, questions, and suggestions below. Uh, if you're not ready, and you've been watching for this long, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I'll see you next time on Maple Farm.